Hello guys, uh, welcome to the YouTube channel. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have seen the rotating widget and badge metric made by Alpha Gaming. That is an awesome little way of displaying all of your subscriber and follower information in just a little bar uh, um, shown on your screen overlay, stream overlay. Um, I've seen a few people on the videos made by uh, Sam Woodhall and Alpha Gaming uh, of getting a little bit confused on where to find the widgets and how to use them. So I thought I'd make this little uh, YouTube video to show you how it's done. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. And I also stream on Twitch on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays. Um, in the current situation I'm also streaming a lot more, uh, but those are the times that you can uh, definitely find me. Enjoy the video. Okay guys, so the very very first thing you want to do is uh, go to the Alpha Gaming channel and Sam Woodhill's channel um, and get access to their Discord servers. Um, I'll put the links in the description for their channels um, and it's pretty simple to find their Discord servers from uh, from their channels. Uh, but I would give exact details in the description below on where to go when you get in their servers to find both the rotating widget and the badge metric widget. Once you've uh, found those, <coughs> the next thing you want to do is design the background for your little stream pad. Um, now, this is the one that I'm currently using. Very simple, very plain. It goes with my color scheme that I use for the rest of my stream overlay, so it all ties in. And I actually have this appearing just underneath my webcam overlay. Um, so basically I've got three sections. Over on the left hand side, uh, I have the rotating widget going total number of followers, uh, total number of subscribers, and also uh, the largest do 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 uh, donation amount. In the middle, I have it going the latest follower, latest subscriber, and the latest cheer and the cheer amount. Um, over here, I have my logo right hand side and that rotates upwards and it shows um, the total amount of followers for this individual stream. Um, you can make this however you want because as you will see the widgets are completely customizable um, and you can resize everything so it fits exactly what you've made. Uh, me personally this um, background I made and it's the, the dimensions are 1066 pixels by 91 pixels a little bit of an odd size I know but um, I believe I, I designed it on a larger 1080 uh, canvas and reduced the size so yeah that, that's why mine's a little bit of a strange dimension okay so now that we have our stream HUD uh, background designs um, we're gonna head over to the discord servers that we mentioned at the beginning of the video um, and we're going to find the links so that we can install the two widgets on our Stream Elements account. To have a Stream Elements account, I'm sure you already have one, but if not, you just go to the Stream Elements website and you log in um, and link it with your either your Twitch account, or your Mixer account, whatever um, sites you're using or account you're using, um, and you'll have access straight away. So. Um, I'm just going to go onto Stream Elements myself. And I'm already logged in. So, once we've done this, we can head over to Discord. Um, we'll start off with the Alpha Gaming channel. Um, head into Alpha Updates. Scroll up a little bit. And here you can find the links for the rotating feed. So, if you're using Twitch, use this link. If you're using Mixer, use this link. And if you're using YouTube for your streaming, you can use this link. I'm using Twip, so um, we'll go with this one. You literally click on the link and it will copy the widget into your dashboard, which is here. So the next thing you want to do is uh, select edit. And you are presented with this screen. 
you want to double click on the layer over here and then go into settings. In here, in the text options, you can choose what font you want to use. I use the font Roberto for the majority of my um, text on my designs. And then over here, you can choose your font color and your accent color. So the font color is anything for like the names or for the numbers. And the accent color is uh, for the icons. So for me, the color I use is F5C, B5C, which is that sort of yellowish tip. If you don't want to have this slight drop shadow underneath uh, your text and icons, just simply change that to zero and that will get rid of that for you. Now in each event, you can set your different um, event types. So you can have anything from latest follower, follows just this session, follows in the last week, etc. And there's, there's a whole host you can choose from. But like I said, I'm using the latest follower for my one. So I select that. Um, and you go, it's showing my latest follower on Twitch. <coughs> on this occurrence, I don't need to have an amount on there, so I can just remove that. Event two, we set it to the latest subscriber, like so. Um, the amount here will show how long they've subscribed for. I personally, I remove this. And then in event three, we have uh, latest cheer. So let's just try and find that. There we go, latest cheer, name. And there you can put the amount if you would like. And as you see, it updates in real time. So as soon as you change over something over here, the widget will reset and you can see in real time. As you can see, I've got no subscribers at the minute, but it doesn't matter, that will show the latest subscriber name when you have one. And then this will show the latest cheer's name and then the amount. So for the first bit, that is all you need to do. So you can press save, and then you want to copy the overlay URL. Okay, uh, the next stage you want to do is move over to OBS and create yourself a new scene. Um, obviously, if you've already got a, um, a scene that you want to add your stream on to, such as one that's already got your webcam on, be your webcam overlay, then use that scene. But I'm just going to use this blank canvas here so I can show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to add our stream HUD background that we made earlier. So for that you just want to click the little plus sign underneath sources and then choose image. Um, for you guys, create new, name it whatever you want. Um, press OK and then you'll be able to browse to find the file. Um, I have already added it, so I'm just going to use that there um, and put that on the screen. The next stage is to add a browser source, and this is where we are going to um, paste that URL we just copied from Stream Element. So I'm going to name the Stream HUD follower so I know what it is. Um, in the URL section, I'm going to paste the URL we copied and change the width to 1200 and then change the height to 100 because that matches the widget size size on from Stream Alert. Now we've added that, you'll see that we have the widget showing up on the screen. So all you want to do now is resize this so it fits your design and then centralize it. There's probably an easier way of doing this rather than just by eye, but um, that's all I'm doing now. Um, and that's all it is for the follow-up section. So, what you're going to want to do now is go back to the Alpha Gaming Discord channel um, and press that same link again so that we have two variants of the widget on our Stream Elements account. So I've already done that and I've already set it up, but I'm gonna walk you through it again. So this is um, the second one. So we're gonna edit that, go back into the layer, go into settings. Um, make sure that you set your text options and your colors to exactly how you want it, just like we did in the last section. And then under event one, I've got total followers, which you can see here. 
um, delete name, delete amount if there's anything in those fields when you select this, and then use the word count instead, and that will show you the total amount of followers. Um, under event two, I've got my total subscribers, and yet again, you're gonna to want to set that to count with nothing else, and that will show you a total amount of subscribers on the rotating widget. Then under event three, I've uh, selected my total tip amount so that that will show a collaborative amount of all of your donations. Um, and in the name section, change that to amount. And then the very last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go down to the tip slash super chat options and change your location and your currency to whatever it is you're using in your local area. Um, and you can see it shows me pound symbol and the amount. Now that you've done that, you're going to want to copy the URL for this one. Go back over to OBS and we're going to add another browser source. And in here, I'm going to put DreamPod uh, Totals, but you can name that anything you want. Um, in the URL section, copy that newly pasted URL, newly copied URL, shall I say. Um, the width is 1200 again and the height is 100 again. <coughs> and we're just going to move that down and we're going to resize it to try and match the size of our previous one. So it looks very similar. Yet again, I'm centralizing it by I. And there we are. So we now have all of that information there. Um, so that is the rotating widget completely finished and done. Obviously you can change any of those settings to have um, any of those options that you can see to to what, what you want to sh what information you want to show to your viewers um, so the next thing we'll be doing is going on and looking at the badge widget um, which is your logo okay so for the badge metric uh, widget there's a couple of things you need you need your logo file which I'm using this one. I'm using the one with the background as it's the identical color to the background on my stream hide background. Um, and then you also need to make a mask file. So for that, you want to basically, whatever you have on your logo, you want to fill the screen with black. So you can see here, my mask is the same size and it's completely black, so that's two different files. And you need that for the badge widget metric. Um, to find the link to the badge metric, you want to go over to Sam's Sam Woodhall's Twitch community um, and under the free template section that you'll find on the left hand side here um, you will find this after a little bit of scrolling through and you're going to want to just click that link there and that will copy the widget to your stream elements account I've already got mine set up so I'm just going to use uh, my one um, you don't want to press edit and go into it again and you will see uh, on the left hand side here, you're gonna double click um, and you're gonna go into settings. Under the options, you're going to want to make this personal to whatever you want. So basically this animation here um, is how often it repeats and the count mode. So for me, I'm using followers session. So what that does is say for instance, you stream in a three hour period and you've got 10, uh, 10 followers in that uh, period of time. Each time you get a new follower, the number will go up. Um, and it's just a nice way of showing your progress through that stream. The text, you want to choose your font family. So I chose Roberto again, and I'm sticking with the white font color. And you can also change all these other options um, to suit what you need it to do. Background, you can either set your uh, if you, if you didn't have a background on your logo, you can set a background there or background video. I didn't do that. I went straight to the logo, um, uploaded my logo image, and then under mask, uh, where are we? Under mask, I've uploaded my black image. And that is all there is to the badge metric uh, widget. So you just want to save that, copy the overlay URL, go back over to OBS, and we're going to add another browser source. This one's stream hard uh, badge, <clears throat> and we're going to go to position and size over here. And the size here is what you want to copy into 
OBS, so the whip was 400. And was it 394? Yeah, 394. And press paste in on the URL, press OK. And our logo shows up. So we're going to resize this, push that over here. That looks good enough to me. Um, and now if I emulate a um, follower event, you will see that my badge has now gone up, shown one. And it will rotate back down and then show me my logo again. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Okay guys, that's it for this uh, little video. Um, I hope that you found it helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below um, and I'll try and answer as many as I possibly can. Um, make sure you go and follow the Alpha Gaming YouTube channel and the Sam, Woodhull, uh, Sam Woodhull's channel um, because what they create is just amazing and it's helped me a lot with what I do on my stream and I'm sure it's helped out many, many others. Um, if, it has, if this video has personally helped you, please like and subscribe um, and don't forget that I stream on Twitch on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays. Um, uh, and let me know if there's any other videos you want uh, a tutorial for that I might be able to help you with. Um, catch you in the next one.